Boom shakalaka. This is what we've been waiting for for Bitcoin altcoins and meme coins. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at a lot of interesting charts, including this is what we've been waiting for for Bitcoin altcoin and meme coins. Before we get into it, guys, like the video, join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love, and subscribe to the OG Bitcoin and Crypto YouTube channel, making videos every day for seven years in four more days. Holy freaking cow. Now, today, fear and greed at 31, up from yesterday's extreme fear to regular fear today. But you can see over the last week and longer than that, we have been in fear. The overall market up 1.5% today, Bitcoin at 61.25%. Ethereum at 26.59, BNB at 5.39, Solana 144, XRP 56 cents, Toncoin 660, Dogecoin 10 cents, and Cardano 33 cents. Now, Bitcoin continuing, I know, I feel like I've been saying this forever, continuing in this bull flag since March. It's a long freaking time. What is that, like five months already? But we do have this nice little wedge that we will be breaking out of by when? Oh, the 1st of September, right around then. Break out from there. Now, we'll likely just break out and continue in this uh, bull flag consolidation pattern. But maybe, like we've been talking about, we might have a big break because that would be roughly time-based about the time from the halving that we generally start to see a price move for Bitcoin. So things could start to get quite exciting at that time period. Now, despite the excitement, people are still pretty darn fearful. You saw Fear and Greed Index People still fearful right now. Interestingly enough, that back in March, when that famed bull flag began, well, guess what? At the same price where we are now, $56,000, $69,000, back then in March, fear and greed was at 79. That's extreme greed. Interestingly enough, fast forward, same price, and we were at fear and extreme fear yesterday. Go figure how sentiment changes. But we're still in the black box area because if you just take a look and put one of these black boxes right after the halving each time, because pretty much nothing good happens in that first six months. So you just put that right afterwards. Well, guess what? After we're outside of the black box, price pretty much goes straight up on a near vertical. Well, once we're outside of that six month box, which coincidentally is roughly around September-ish, things will start to go straight up. We're starting to see money inflow into the global liquidity. And taking a look here, as there are large inflows in global liquidity, look at what happens with Bitcoin price. It goes up similarly. But when global liquidity goes sideways, look what happens with Bitcoin price. It goes down to sideways. So interestingly enough, as we break previous all-time high in global liquidity, well, and they print money, the money printer is growing burr, it means Bitcoin price goes to the moon. This could be the last accumulation opportunity based on the stock RSI. You can see right now at levels that we saw back in 2020 between the mid-cycle top and the full peak. Well, that was the last great accumulation opportunity. Likely, we're having the same type of event right now. As a matter of fact, if we take a look at the short-term holder MVRV Bollinger Bands, this showing also when it's dipping into green, these are the ideal buy scenarios for Bitcoin. Red is when you want to sell. Right now, it is a buy for Bitcoin. This could, again, be the last moment, the retest and bottom when Bitcoin bounces off of the weekly Gaussian moving average, which it's done in previous cycles right before taking off to go to new all-time highs. So a lot of charts suggesting that we have a lot higher to go for Bitcoin. Taking a look at this fractal from 2015, 2016, you can see we had a deviation retest of this trend line breaking above there, little sideways consolidation before things take off. Very, very similar setup. Deviation retest, sideways movement, suggesting, hey, we could be waiting. This is the launch point for Bitcoin because coming up next quarter is Q4, which historically is a great quarter for Bitcoin. Taking a look after every halving, you have the halving and then you have Q4 begins and look at what happens after Q4. Nothing happens between halving and Q4, but right after Q4, oh my goodness, things go bananas. We are very, very close to Q4, comes right after September. Well, that's when things are likely going to go bananas. But this is what we've been waiting for in this bull run so far. There's been 
one bearish cross so far of the 50 and 200 day moving averages. Guess what Bitcoin did after that bearish cross? That's right. The price went from 22.5 all the way up to $72,000. Price tripled. Could we see the same thing? Because we are technically still in a bull market. Could we see the same 3x $180,000 Bitcoin? Oh, yes, we could. Taking a look at the Elliott wave right here, you can see we have wave one, two, three, four, finding support right here on the 38.2 fib. Well, taking off once again from there, likely hundreds of thousands of dollars for Bitcoin. But that is not all. Altcoins are at a massive line of support. This has been a trend line for the past five years. And each time it touched this trend line, the last three times, the price has risen rapidly for altcoins in the following months. Not only that, but it's at the bottom of the KC channel as well. Both of these things suggesting, hey, we are just moments away from an alt season. Things are about to turn around. And if you believe in fractals, and I believe in fractals, well, take a look at this one for Dogecoin and whatever happens for Dogecoin, similar for meme coins. You had trendline support, final breakdown below there, and then orders of magnitude price increase. Look at this, trendline support breaking through there, orders of magnitude price increase. And then this time, trendline support breaking through to the bottom. Could we have orders of magnitude price increase and crazy insane meme mania? Oh, I think it could quite possibly happen. So that's all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, like the video, subscribe, and YouTube says you'll enjoy that video too. So go check it out. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.